Every quarter hour, the Ohio State University chimes ring strong and true from the bell tower at Horton Hall. Though students and faculty walking the oval may take it for granted, there is much more to this tradition than meets the ear. One of the most distinctive and oldest buildings on campus, Orton Hall was built in 1893 in honor of the first president of Ohio State, who also served as the state's geologist. The exterior of the building represents the geological history of Ohio. Look closely and you can see the layers of 40 types of stone as they would appear in the bedrock of the state. Surrounding the bell tower, flying reptiles and dinosaurs. 24 prehistoric animals hand carved from red sandstone. The theme continues throughout the building which houses the geology library and geological museum. But for most, Orton Hall represents the home of the University Chimes. So getting to the bell tower and then up to the bells is a very interesting journey. You actually walk through what looks very much like a building attic and, and you see pieces of the HVAC system and you hear large uh, fans running. And then you come to a very quaint, uh, not a very tall door, maybe looks like a, a door that might take you to the home of a dwarf or a gnome. You come into the round bell tower. From that main floor, there's um, a very antiquated wooden ladder that you need to climb up to a wooden platform, which invites you to now a smaller old wooden ladder that you climb, and that's when you can actually enter into the bell tower. The climb is not for the weak of heart, and so not every person that would come into the tower chooses to climb all the way to the top, um, but it is a spectacular view from the bells. Starting with the class of 1906, it took seven graduating classes to raise the $7,500 needed to buy a dozen large bells. They were installed and played on campus for the first time in February 1915. During World War I, students stopped to stand at attention as the chimes played once a day in honor of those serving their country. And in 1924, they echoed well beyond campus. That's when the new university radio station installed microphones here in the bell tower and lines across the oval to the electrical engineering department where it had studios. For the next two decades, WSU Radio broadcast live from the university chimes to listeners across the Midwest. Official chimers have come and gone through the past century, including Dr. Alan McManigal of engineering who handled the duty for 28 years. Today, one of the lucky few is Kathy Montalto, associate professor in the College of Education and Human Ecology. I personally feel really privileged when I have an opportunity to play that keyboard and hear the chimes ring. It's very exciting that we're coming up on the 100th anniversary of the chimes being a very integral part of the university. The bells strike automatically on the quarter hour, but for special occasions an abbreviated keyboard is used to manually ring the bells. It wasn't always that easy. The chimes were once played with cable reaching through the ceiling to connect the bell clappers and wooden levers that were pushed and pulled. This is the original keyboard that we would have had. You can see some of the labeling. This is a keyboard in E flat. You can see some of the labeling of the keys. So we have D flat and E flat and F and G flat. You can see the labeling as we go up. And so Again, reading the music, you would play each note. As you can imagine, you're not going to be going real fast because you've got to put a lot of pressure on the lever to strike the bell. And then you want to let that bell vibrate for that sound to resonate before you'd strike the next bell to get that sound. So this is the original mechanism. Again, it wasn't for the weak of heart. You had a little bit of a workout when you were playing the music. So is this too quaint? This little candle holder, we have one here and we have one here. So can you imagine being up here? And yes, playing by candlelight, delivering that beautiful music from the bell tower. The Ohio Staters, a service organization on campus, now coordinates all special musical requests and tours of the bell tower. The most common request is a composition by an Ohio State student first performed by the University Glee Club in 1903. 
So Carmen, Ohio, our university alma mater, is taught to our students from day one. As they um, enter the university, we teach them Carmen, Ohio. We sing it after every football game as a group. And so I do think it has very special meaning. It is common for us to get requests around commencement time for university events that are happening on campus. We have had requests from alumni who wish to propose on the Oval and would like the chimes played concurrent with that proposal. Again, often it's Carmen, Ohio. I think the chimes in the Orton Bell Tower are memorable to every person Every alumni of the university, every student who has ever been enrolled here, and I'm guessing every person that has visited our campus and has heard the chimes play. So they have really special meaning to all of us. I think they bring to mind our allegiance to the university and maybe the most memorable song we will remember being played by the chimes is Carmen, Ohio. And so that brings lots of memories of time and change and friendship at the university.